And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's beautiful. And I want to start out with Bitcoin on the four hour. We'll take a look at some altcoins, talk about traditional markets and take a look at Dixie because, well, we know Dixie rules the market. Wanted to start out here on the four hour time frame as we are amidst a bit of a silver cross there with low volatility. The jewel given a buy signal and... Uh, the good old RSI is getting uh, into the bullish control zone. Let's see. Oh, not quite. So not quite there yet. Uh, short term target looks like, uh, you know, this high here, this high here. But uh, more specifically, we did talk about this area right here um, <clears throat> on the daily time frame. That pivot at 67.8. 67.8, probably going to be a key important level. Um, we are grazing upon the 0.5 at the moment. So let's see if we can break above there and uh, take out the next target about 67.8 there. Low volatility. So as volatility expands, we expect price to go in the direction of the stochastic, which is now getting erect here in the bullish control zone. So that is good. Um, what else do I want to bring up here? Maybe we should talk about Tuker coin. Tuker, um, I am really enjoying this little meme coin here. I think it's still got a lot of room to grow as it is still low market cap, uh, 54 million. Uh, we are just breaking the downtrend on the hourly time frame, trying to put in a higher low, um, and, you know, any kind of a buying opportunity along this uh, bottom side of the range here is looking good, looking good. So you got the mid range coming in at about six cents and the top of the range at about nine cents. So we'll see where this one goes, but uh, definitely enjoying some of the memes on that one. Back on to Bitcoin. What else did I want to bring up today? On the daily time frame, uh, we did talk about this. Let's just see. Let's just see if we can redraw the nice little pennant formation here, which did end up breaking to the downside and uh, did not get the full move, uh, did not get the swipe down to 58.8. We did come back down to 59.5. I guess they say close enough is close enough. And now that uh, volatility is beginning to decline, I do want to take a look at this HPDR indicator. Yeah, looking for a good bounce up to the mid-range, maybe all the way up to 72,000. Interesting look there on BitGet. A um, little bit different look on Binance, so much different look. Much different look there. Um, this is probably the more accurate chart. This is probably the more accurate uh, setup here. So it does need to get above 67,300. Any kind of a daily closure above there is going to look good for a run. At the top side of the range here at about 71.4 and above there. Next target up at 76,000. What did I want to bring up? This indicator called the moons, the moons, the moons, moon, the moon phases as we are amidst, I think a bit of a bull moon is supposed to print today or tomorrow. So we got the little dump before the halving and now we're about to print a bull moon. Here was the bear moon. There was the bull moon. That was the bull moon. <clears throat> so, I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm going to give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. 
It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. At the very least, I would expect a little upside from there. We'll see if it prints uh, after today's daily close. It does seem to be getting close, seem to be getting close. Um, every 14 days, maybe this is wrong. So the 8th to the 23rd, 8 plus 14, or is it every 15? Every 15 days, every 14 days, something like that. That's when the bull moon prints, and you would expect a little bounce out of there. And as long as we are closing now above the green 55, I would expect uh, you know continued pressure onto the upside, at least for the moment. And we do need to break this uh, down sloping trend line as well. Otherwise, you know, we could get a little sell pressure, a little pullback back down to the bottom side of the range. And I would not be surprised to see it swipe. One time down uh, at the, you know, one more time back at the bottom of the range. We did get the breakout retest, maybe goes for a second test. But back above this diagonal trend line is gonna look good for a run at 76,000. Speaking of traditional markets getting a bounce today, uh, apparently there's some earnings coming out today for Mr. Tesla. Tesla's making their cars cheaper. Um, Looks like the S&P is trying to put in a bounce as well. And what do you know? Dow Jones leading the party to the upside. Nice, nice hammer here. And that is a bit of a reversal candle, if you ask me. Bitcoin dominance is uh, continuing to make those higher highs and higher lows. So do we give a deeper stab in here or at least another try at the not 0.5 at 56%? Does look good to me. Ethereum dominance down. CMEs. Uh, how did the weekly open up? Oh, there's the bull moon. The bull moon on the weekly. Let's see if it's on the daily. Not yet here on the daily. So maybe it prints tomorrow. Um, and just taking a look at Arbitrum. And something I did want to note about most of the altcoins right now are giving a run at the purple 200. Coming into a death cross for Mr. Arbitrum. I will take those moon phases off. Uh, GRT bounced off the purple 200. I would say that's more bullish than not, but silver cross present on declining volatility. And I would expect a pullback on the first pass. Checking in on TIA, which absolutely got slaughtered. Mr. Tia coin, not, not giving us what we wanted, but I still believe in the project long-term. Celestia, the modular blockchain storage, makes storage cheaper. You know, after a massive run like that, you know, you are gonna get a pullback at some point and nice reversal candle in. So, you know, the game is higher low or not. If we put in another higher low, I would expect another try back up at about 1588. Um, let's check in on Bonk, down 4% today after a massive bounce. Again, coming into the silver cross. Link, Link I do think has a bit more higher to try. Again, bouncing off the purple 200 there. How's the injective doing? So everybody's coming up to that purple 200. So if they're not at the purple 200 yet, Ave's got a little bit more to go. Looks good for a bounce. Uh, Ape coin. Ape probably has a nice bounce due. Hitting the range lows. I mean, that is the October 23 lows. So you would expect a little bounce continuation there. Ethereum. Looks still bullish. I mean, Ethereum still looks bullish, even though uh, ETH dominance, ETH Bitcoin taking a bit of a hit on the head. Uh, how about Mr. Wildcoin? Yeah, putting in a massive higher low, trend continuation on this one. And AVAX. Looks more bullish than not. Holding the purple 200, I uh, would expect a shot up to 43 cents. 
All right, that's it out of me today, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored day, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.